Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from Weartesters.com, and today we got a quick, detailed look and review of one of the more anticipated shoes of the year. It's definitely one of mine, and it's these guys right here. It's the Black and Royal Air Jordan 1. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Now I have not held these in my hands for 10 years and it feels great to have them back in my possession, not gonna lie. Shout out to Shoe Palace by the way, you can get these over at shoepalace.com as well as in store at Shoe Palace locations. But I haven't had these in hand since uh, since my daughter was born and it was because I got rid of them. I had the 01 pair and I got rid of them things for 70 bucks man and that, that was dumb. But at that time, they were not worth 700 That didn't happen until years later. So, you know, you can never predict the future. It's just like stocks. You know, one day they're worth something. Next day, they might be worth nothing. Being patient definitely pays off because I have a pair now. And I am totally in love with these. These guys are way better quality material-wise than the 2013 edition. If you don't care about quality and things like that, you're just going after the look. The 2013 edition is not a bad shoe. But these guys right here, these guys step it up a notch. They try to make things as close to the OG as possible by putting on actual leather on the shoe, which I love. Now, clearly the blue sections are the best quality leather, whereas the black sections are just the cheaper stuff, but I don't mind it. I think that it looks great. It feels great on foot as well. When you have a shoe that's built like this, it's gonna break in really nicely. To me, the more that these shoes are worn, like the Air Jordan 1, the better that they look. A lot of people are asking about comparisons between them and those guys back there, the black and red Air Jordan 1s from last year. Honestly, it's the same exact stuff. Like if you put them side by side. The, the black leather is the same. The colored leather is the same. The only difference between the two shoes is that the black and reds actually went a step further with the OG thing and they put the size like screen printed on the lining and that is not featured on the Royal pair. I would have loved to have had just like a screen printed, you know, size nine or whatever your size is on the inside. But for whatever reason, they forgot to do that. Another thing that I love is that there's no price increase. These guys are 160. The black and reds are 160. Perfect. Like that's uh, honestly, is too much for a one like if we're just talking about like pricing and everything but the way that these guys end up skyrocketing in value I would much rather pay 160 one time and have to pay it three times just to get one pair because you missed out on the damn release which is what happened to me in 2013 I did not think that those things were gonna sell out the way that they did and I was definitely not paying like four freaking hundred dollars just to get a pair of ones that's ridiculous but like I said the overall build the overall quality the look of the shoe I think it's great I have absolutely no complaints Complaints. This is probably because of nostalgia purely. So with this particular release completely biased, I have nothing bad to say whatsoever. I'm not gonna nitpick anything, nothing. I'm just f***ing happy that I have these in my hands. I cannot wait to wear these things. I cannot wait to beat them to sh I just, I love this shoe. I love this colorway. I just love them, man. I just love them. As far as sizing goes, I would go true to size personally. If you don't want creasing, go down half a size. You're going to end up with a really, really snug fit, but it will minimize creasing while they are on foot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway in particular, as well as the overall quality of the shoe, if you've actually seen them yet. And for those of you that stay to the very end of the videos, what is your favorite colorway of the Air Jordan 1? This and the black toes are mine. I would love to know what yours are. If you have a top three or a top five, list them in order because I would love to hear from you. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. And until next time, guys, have a good one.